published by, uh, by the county. Uh, but basically, if you start on Nolensville Road and head west, and wrap around the city in what used to be the county before county and city were combined in the metro. That's the district, except for Antioch and um, Priest Lake area. So Nolensville Road, you have Cree Hall, uh, Oak Hill, um, Forest Hills, Green Hills, Bellmead, Westmead, Hillwood, Bellevue, Up River Road, Jolton, Goodlettsville, then down the other side, picking up parts of Madison, parts of Hermitage, down to uh, and pretty much ending at Donaldson. So it is a huge district, and it forms a giant C. And somebody suggested that the C stands for convoluted. <laughs> I think that's a very, very apt description of it. And I, I do have the map, and I realize it's a little hard to, to read. But if you're in Bellevue in 37212 or 37209, then two, two, you are likely in If you're in, in the Bellevue zip code, then you're definitely in, and you're likely to be in if you're in. Uh, my name is Richard Exton. Uh, the website is rich, right now it isn't up, but you can email me at richard at exton number four tn.com. Um, and you're on Facebook. And I'm on Facebook, and I have a, I have a the, the campaign has a Facebook page set up. Uh, you can Google, Google Richard Exton and you'll get to me. Um, the reason I'm running. Oh, I'm sorry. I, my, apparently, my pen, Drew tells me my pen is running out. So. Well, here you go. We got another pen. We got another. No. <laughs> Lawyers always have pens. No. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> Basically, I, I'm running because of the time that we had some common sense in the legislature. I mean, some of the bills that we're looking at are just ridiculous. I mean, we just don't need any more places where we can take guns to try to kill each other. We need to pl find places where Tennesseans can get jobs. We need to focus on things like infrastructure that's going to generate jobs now. We need to focus on preserving the quality of life and those natural resources that, that we hold dear here in Tennessee, it, it's the quality of life that brings people to Tennessee and brings jobs to Tennessee. And we've got to focus, the legislature has to focus on those things. And finally, education. We need a qualified workforce, people who are well educated. Why? Because it's going to bring the good jobs to Tennessee. But it's about the economy. It's about jobs. And that's where we need to focus. And that's the job of the, of the legislature. Frankly, I don't think they're doing a very good job. We're all good Democrats here. We need to keep this Democratic seat on the, in, in our colony. And I'll, I realize that when I'm elected, if I'm elected, with your help, I'm elected. But I'm going to be in the, uh, the loyal opposition for now. But we need to have groups like this throughout Davidson County, throughout the state. They're getting together one on one and, and saying, yeah, we represent Tennessee's values. We represent the, the dreams and the aspirations of all of Tennesseans. The Republican Party doesn't do that. And we need to do a better job of, of telling our story, reminding people that it's the Democrats that have gotten them to this state to where it is, and we need to focus on that. And I'm going to ask you one thing. This group, you need to bring one person, one new person, every time you come to this. We can build this organization, and we can do it throughout the, the uh, throughout the city.
But we need to build a future, and we need to build a democratic future, and we need to obtain the seats we have so we can build for the future. I would appreciate your vote in August. It's a democratic primary. And Stan didn't tell you this, but to vote, you might get really excited and go, I'm going to vote for Santorum. Screw the, screw the Republicans. But you can't vote for Stan unless you vote in the Democratic Party. You can't vote for uh, the other judgeship if you don't vote in the Democratic primary. So those are your only opportunities to support the Democrats that are running for judge. So I hope you'll vote in the Democratic primary starting on Tuesday through the 28th. Yeah, through the 28th, yeah. And then um, if you don't do that um, at your local polling place on uh, the 6th of March, and then in August, well, I guess beginning in, in uh, late July, early voting in the, in the primary, um, Democratic primary uh, for state, Senate, and District 20. Thank you all so much.